Yes, indeed. Uh, Joe Netta, what you gonna do sales. next? We tired of you, bitch. We know you can't cook. Ah. Mm. Baby, look what I done brought you. Mm. Baby, have I got a surprise for you. Now, this will make you all well. This has got a little burn on me, but it ain't just the way you like it. Trying to kill me. No, 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 look out. Now, baby, don't be that way. So, uh, Joe Netta think that his 15 minutes ain't over. It's been over. You ain't got no management, no guidance. Now, I did take time to listen to Joe Netta, um, listen to Hillary Sanchez's interview with Carlos, okay? First and foremost, Hillary Sanchez, the lawsuit you filed against Joe Netta is so motherfucking frivolous. And now we figured out, well, at least I did, if y'all didn't put two and two together, you wonder why Joe Netta was at the DMV getting his license updated, not because they expired, because he was making sure he put whatever name he put on the people application at the courthouse on his driver's license. Joe Netta want to be Joe Eddie Alexander. And finally, after being quote unquote married to Charles Rolandis, he went to the DMV to make sure his driver's license said Joe Eddie Alexander. Nigga, you wanted to be sued by Hillary Sanchez because what else you got? You cry victim, bitch. You a victim. You just like me, a victim, bitch. You gonna pick it. You go poke and cry victim. But the exception that you are not an actual creator with no guidance that don't know how to use that. But you went to the DMV to make sure your driver's license say Joe Eddie or uh, Alexandra. Okay, the lawsuit Hillary Sanchez filed against Joe Netta is illiterate. Let me be clear about it. How you gonna say you you suing Joe Joe Robinson and you serve it to the address? And we heard Carlos say he owned a company that does process serving. So who the hell helped Hillary Sanchez serve Miss Netta and Charles? It had to be Carlos, the same one that has a personal relationship, and go and interview with Hillary Sanchez. These motherfuckers birds of a feather flock together. We thought you moved on. We thought you had celebrity clients to deal with, Carlos. You ain't got no goddamn clients to deal with. 15 years in the game, talking about you being an entrepreneur and know these celebrities and your teeth ain't motherfucking fixed. 15 years in the game and we finally know who you are because you managed Jonetta and Charles. Let's be clear. You use Jonetta and Charles to access them gay clubs and to go out in public in them gay clubs that you been going through and going to because you know you don't want no motherfucking woman. Let's be clear about that. You nappy-headed motherfucker. Carlos... You co-conspiring in the background. We don't care about you. You had your little seconds of fame. And Charles said he going to hit you in your shit the next time he see you. That's why all of a sudden when you interviewing with Hillary, you talking about you have no aspirations and no need to go back to the South because you running from that ass whooping Charles said he was going to get you. Y'all remember when Charles hit the shed? That nigga said the moment that he see Carlos, he going to kapoo. Nigga almost broke his head in the shed. Yeah, Carlos scared of that. Nigga punched through aluminum four. Carlos still scared. You got to be fucking kidding me. Nigga, you soft as fuck. Get your motherfucking ass up out of here. Oh. Hillary Sanchez, child, please sit the fuck down somewhere. They admit it that you call the feds every day on Joe Netta, suing the lawsuit and everything so you can talk. We don't give a damn. We don't give a damn. We don't give a fuck at all. Joe Netta need the cloud and Joe Netta using you and answering and addressing that bogus ass lawsuit that you got. How you going to serve a lawsuit? And then two weeks later, have an actual court date. The people going to laugh and smile at your motherfucking ass. You better be glad that your court case ain't in public access and you got to call them people to get it. And I'm going to call them people to read all the legal documents that you filed to show how illiterate your motherfucking ass is. Uh, uh, motherfucking Hillary Sanchez looking like, uh, don't Hillary Sanchez look like James Brown. Don't that motherfucker look like James Brown. Oh, hard brick face motherfucker. Shut up, Hillary Sanchez. We sick and tired of you. Speaking of James Brown, there would be no Michael Jackson dance moves without James Brown. 
All James Brown leg movement was reinvented by Michael Jackson. So when you think about creativity, oh, the not you, Kaya, you copy Kaya. No, when you think about creativity, it's that you figure out what's working and you do it better. And that's exactly what motherfuckers do. But back to Joe Nessie, nigga was at the DMV and this black woman decided to get her some clout off of Joe Nessie. Girl, you know you clout chaser, but let me hear you out for the first time. That, that you and Everton. And uh, Rolandis, you were just talking about, oh, you must be trolling. You kept making slick comments like you don't like women at all. Mm -mm. Even when nobody even talking to you, you were still inserting yourself. You know, and I, I dislike when a woman tried to say and paint a broad brush on a man. No, he probably didn't like you. I have the right to not like every black woman or every woman that come across. Just like you have the right to like a man or not like a man. It's called preference. It's called personal decision based on your attitude, based on what I think and feel about you. Has nothing to do with gender. Y'all need to stop that motherfucking shit. The only niggas that feed y'all that bullshit that you want to hear are niggas that's reaching for your pocketbook. I don't give a fuck if you support me or not. I'm always tell you the truth. This is a bitch and this motherfucker ain't got shit to bank on but the fact that she's a black woman. We don't give a damn and we don't give a fuck. All right, y'all, before I get into this video, a DMV, BMV is all the same thing. It's just basically uh, what your city calls it, right? My city says BMV. So the lady that recorded Joe at the BMV did a response video, and this is the response video. We about to go ahead and get into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell. I wanted to y'all, too. What the f is wrong with y'all? Not the... That y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't know if Nelda sent y'all mother ass or if, they, if he paid y'all mother ass. But go ahead on. Y'all was not in there in the basement like we was getting our driver's license. And y'all know what the fuck going on. One thing about it, two things for sure and three things for certain, you would not lie on me. Now, first of all, the people that are talking about... Yeah, Joe Netta, birthday ain't coming up. Why would you be in the DMV doing anything with the license? Like I said, it's because he's trying to switch shit over. So that he can live up to that name, Joe Eddie Alexander, that he wrote on the court papers with Hillary Sanchez. He is really scared of this lawsuit with Hillary Sanchez. He really need to fight it. Like I said, Carlos been pulling strings in the background with his piece of head ass. It's a cloud. It's clout with a T, not a cloud. It's not cumulus and it's not thunderstorm. <laughs> if I needed a cloud moment, I would have posted the shit at 9, 10 o'clock when it happened. Girl, when bye. We left, we were supposed to keep it that way at the DMV. We was not supposed to bring it to the internet. He made it seem like, it, okay, you know, it is what it is. We left on a good note, from my understanding. That shit wasn't supposed to go no more the internet. He ran home like he had fire under his ass and got on live. To my, I'm aggressive. I'm this. I'm this. It sounds like you started some shit and waited until he came out with it publicly so that you can release it and get you some clout because you ain't never had no real attention in your motherfucking life. Okay, you cute and all, but what's your pH balance? Where your nigga at? Why you ain't had no man that had to step to that other man? You ain't got none because you, you is aggressive and all of that other shit. Let's be clear. Okay, let's be clear. As an individual, I'm seeing straight through you. Yeah, we're nobody fucking aggressive. You started looking at me because you thought Charles was looking at me. That's what that was. Mm -mm. I don't want no motherfucking Charles. You was <laughs> up there looking at me crazy. And to say that I came in with a motherfucking camera out is you crazy. Girl, go ahead in a minute. I don't give a damn if we in outer space at the movies at a premiere. If I see Joe Natta, bitch, I'm pulling the camera out. How the fuck can you look like Jeeper Creepers, one, two, mixed with Freddy Cougar, Dragon Tales, and every fucking thing that frightened us when we was a child, and I don't fucking get it. It's Halloween. This supposed to be your month, Joe Netta, with your ugly ass. You supposed to be making just as much money as Michael Jackson off a of Thriller with your ugly motherfucking ass. Why your face so ugly? You gotta be. I came in with my phone because I was on it, and then I told the person I was on the phone with, I'm about to call you back because I'm in the driver's license uh, place. At that time, I didn't even know we could have a phone in there. But since I ain't seen no signs saying no phones, then I pulled my pick out. I'm not coming up to filming y'all. Like reality TV, what the hell is wrong with y'all? You okay? I can't. Hmm. Lord, 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 Lord. It's, I mean, it's a lie for me, really. And the people that are talking about, um, I, I ain't about damn clout chasing it is. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. You up there looking at me. Doing like that and shit. What the f is wrong with you? Then mm -hmm. after the second, the third time you did it, I did ask you, what is it? 
I mean, what is it? Look, girl, you should have said your face. Your face is what it is, Jonetta. You are, you are the influencer with no influence. Don't nobody want to look like you. The only thing that substantiate you as an influencer are them numbers. You so motherfucking ugly. You didn't got charged. You didn't pick them up off the ground because don't nobody want to deal with him. Don't nobody want him. And you wouldn't trauma bonded with him because don't need nobody. No, nobody won't need one of y'all motherfuckers. Let me be clear about that. And you done groomed him to be in this relationship, force him to hold your hand in public. I ain't on no these for you putting these raggedy ass, plastic ass, no good, nasty ass seasoning in front of the skin, in front of the screen to act like this is your product and you got something to say, up, bitch. We looking at your face. The minute you stop having all these ugliness on your face is the minute them numbers gonna get dried up and not you trying to look like hands and squid with these days. And let's go beyond it. When you, well, a couple months ago, when um, people was inboxing me on my Snapchat, and I, I got the, the screenshots, I posted it before, and when you do a reverse lookup to see who the uh, account belonged to, why is your email attached to it? <laughs> they say Joe Netta be right people for fake accounts. Bitch, don't come over here with that. Absolutely not, bitch. I had to pack your manager up, your fake ass manager. The understudy of Carlos, a broke ass nigga who bragging about he been in the business and managing people for 15 years and you his number one client and he he managed celebrities and shit like that and he's moved on. Who he moved on to? To Peaches the Bar? A crackhead who trying to grip off the fact that her mama gone and attach her name to her brother? Bitch, you bit you booked Peaches the Mar the, the bar. For a school, an elementary school, a little boy got up and left out, and the teacher told him to go sit down. He said, I don't want to hear that shit, because you sounded like you was on crack with them skeet marks on your motherfucking old peaches. And then, Carlos ain't got no fucking clout, or, or no clout, uh, real uh, clout. 70-some email attached to it. Like, be fucking for real. You're going to be anything in life. You ain't going to have me out here looking crazy, like I'm slow with something. I don't you? Mm-mm. You all right? You need a hug? You gave me one yesterday. We thought, I thought we was up on a good note, but you ran, you ran your ass to lies, lying. I wasn't aggressive. But don't sit on here talking about I was aggressive, I was loud. I had and, and another thing, I ain't taking it up for Joe Nessie, but a lot of y'all black women are aggressive. That's why y'all single. Y'all y'all get older and say that it's your choice to be single. Use all your degrees and everything to justify why you should have a man, but you ain't got one. Bitch, you know you're supposed to go make your money, do whatever you need to do in the world, and be soft and submissive behind closed doors. Huh? You ain't have no business but to get that content for us. Why you was scared? You should have recorded that bitch face and stood on business. I'm recording your ugly ass face because I can't believe it. Attitude, no, it didn't... And on business. I like didn't, you know that. You didn't tell them that part. You didn't tell them how I told you how to rebrand and how you got to come back, how you got to stay off live, and how you got to retarget your audience. You didn't say none of that. But you came. You're not a manager. You won't tell me a motherfucking like thing about my business either. Uh, a clout chaser, and I was just a villain, and how I just, I just wanted clout off your name. That was not it. I fact checked you. That's what that was. You kept doing like this and don't looking folks up and down and shit. So yes, I'm gonna ask you what is what what is it? Any other person, I'm gonna ask them what is it? Can I help you? You ain't exempt for none of these. Just cause you nailed her. No, any other person. I ask family members if they looking at me crazy. What is it? What's wrong? Sure do. What <laughs> and what about it? Child, please look right. Look at the picture over them glasses. Can y'all see that? Let me make sure y'all can see that. Cause yes, bitch, you ugly. Like look like the nightmare from Elm Street, the black version. You look like everything that scares everybody. Them, it's Halloween. Why is you arguing with random motherfuckers at the DMV instead of you being the LOL cow that you are to go to Party City and say I got this new design that I need y'all to sell? And they gonna be like, what is that? They go, you say it's your face. All you gotta do is mix any mix your a star crunch, put a little bumps on it and everything. I wish I could find a Jonetta mask at uh Party City. I'm willing to spend forty dollars on a Jonetta mask. I need the dreads, the dragon tail dreads, everything on it, bitch. I'm willing to spend money on it. Should I usually go get the Dragon Ball Z outfit? I want a Jonetta costume, bitch. 
Niggas is picking at you and you still ain't monetized off of it. How dare you let motherfucker go and make their own Jonetta costume and you don't own the rights to an official Jonetta Halloween mask, bitch. You supposed to be making bank this month. And what about it? Uh-uh. And then you call me a hater. I don't hate on nobody. I told y'all, my friend bought the season this for us. I wasn't going to use my own damn money to do it. But like I told you, I was going to give an honest review. If it's good, it's just good. If it's not, it's not. I don't jump on the band bandwagon of other folks. They can't shape my opinion. If anything. So yo, don't 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 do that. Cause you you didn't even have to get on live. Did anybody even have to know about our encounter? I said something after you said something. Cause it was gonna stay in my damn phone. Joe Nita need them fifteen and the minutes. Fact, y'all and the ones that's talking about uh, well, why did you record when y'all was exchanging words? <laughs> do, do y'all really think if I had a camera in that face that he was he was gonna flip the script like he do? Yeah, she faking it. I know I went crazy. Girl, I'm tired of you. Just go ahead and say that you was recording Jeepers Creepers like the comments say, and you got scared and froze up. You were supposed to stand on business. You a whole black woman. You a whole black woman. You sitting up here giving these bullshit ass excuses like you proper and appropriate, bitch. Bye. Fuck you, Charles. Charles is coming out here taking up for Jonetta because of what Jonetta has said about Jamaicans. Let me be clear with you. Jonetta and Charles are bought the boys. You you forever going to be that. Bought the boys, bummer clothes and everything. The whole motherfucker down, y'all. Let's be clear about that, okay? Jamaican people make their own seasons. So why are you going after the Jamaican community when you would have never got a sale? Jamaican people only buy Jamaican brand seasoning because we stay on cold like that. Ain't nobody buying your motherfucking seasoning. Y'all niggas ain't even selling no seasoning like that line. Talking about you made a million dollars off the seasoning. What you got to defend, Charles, with your ugly ass? We headed the food at the resort, not the Jamaican food in general. Can you understand that? No. We just Sir, we don't care if it's at the resort of the Jamaican airport. You offended Jamaican food, period. Bitch, anything that anytime you go down to the country and disrespect Jamaica, we gonna come at you and come at your motherfucking head about the boy. Let's be clear about that. You bumba clot. You ain't gonna bust a great niggas ain't the Jamaican people want your market anyways. This is just shit for the internet that lets you know that you need your little 15 minutes of fame. You need to tap into Jamaican people. You wish the Jamaican people would buy your seasoning. Somebody gonna get chopped from A to Z with a motherfucking machete. They bring some Jonetta seasoning in their house and they in the Jamaican community. Let's be clear. Oh, Lord. No. Not like the food in the fucking resort. The camera, the, the camera up in Montego Bay, do better. Do better because it's only been at least... 40% of the time we spent that we done ex But majority uh -uh. of the time the shit sucked. Garbage. Hate to say it, but like I said, the food outside the resort is the best. Any Jamaican restaurant outside there, that, I'm sorry, it's better than where we was eating at. Okay? And I'm saying that. I'm vouching for that. You understand? I'm saying that. I'm saying the Jamaican food in general is nowhere near nasty. Just the fucking resort. Okay? Nah. The fucking resort. Nah, ain't no copping, please. Ain't no fucking copping, please. Um, shout out. Where where are you? I see you. Raw Love. Thank you so much for being here. You know they tried to say that I started a GoFundMe saying that I got sickle cell and I need help for sickle cell. Bitch, let me tell you something. Fortunate for me. Sickle cell don't run in my family. Not from my grandma to my mamas, my aunties and everything. But I started, and I didn't start a GoFundMe for sickle cell. I decided to post and promote a GoFundMe for my supporter who's been with me for two years in support of sickle cell. A black woman. The same people y'all say that I hate. I don't know and I don't care how many people have donated to it, but you need to donate to it. Even if it's more than what I made on YouTube, I don't give a fuck. Go donate and support it. I just wanted to put that into perspective since you're here, I love. So if y'all see Nightbot drop a link saying support a sickle cell warrior, that has nothing to do with me. That has everything to do with me giving fucking back to a supporter. Somebody I talk to. Somebody that's been with me through thick and fucking thin. 
I ain't never going to promote no shit that I can't stand behind. So go and support that. If y'all see Nightbot, Nightbot is me. So if y'all see y'all comments deleted and shit, ain't no need to talk to Nightbot. You talking to me. And I will block you for attacking Nightbot. Let's be clear about that. I just wanted to put that into perspective. Now, like I said before, I already had to check and correct her ass on that shit to the point where I held her ass accountable. And she knew and understood. She understood the assignment very well. But now it's to the point where I keep seeing videos back and forth about this and that. And I'm about tired of it. So I'm here to let y'all know. The food in Jamaica was very, very fucking good. The food at the resort was bad. Okay? Anything outside that resort is pretty much good on me. Okay? It's good for me. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm just sitting here telling you. In fucking general. The Jamaican cuisine is not nasty. Just the resort. Okay? Can anybody understand that? Do anybody understand that? If so... Bitch, fuck you. You said what you said. And even if you meant only the resort and not the people of Jamaica food, we still gonna go with that narrative because why go with the truth when the lie is more entertaining, bitch? Ain't that's what they say. We don't give a fuck about you explaining yourself. You better have some substance when you explaining yourself. You talk about people, a whole group of people that ain't related to you, that don't give a fuck about you, and that will chop you from A to Z with a machete knife, and that don't want you back in their fucking country, okay? Yo, broke ass, you couldn't even afford no stingy feud over in Jamaica since y'all said the debit card and shit didn't work. Pussy nigga, niggas wanted your motherfucking money. We don't give a fuck about you. What you talking about on Facebook, too, with your bitch ass? Let's just say it's going to be another Big Back snack for you. A Big Back These snack. Right here, I'm gonna, we're going to call them bacon cheeseburger poppers or pockets. Uh-uh, not Either him way. trying to cook. Either way. Nigga said he was trying to be Joe Netta yeah. on the low. Stay tuned. Nigga problem. said he was trying to be Joe Netta. Hold on, let me let me bring this up even better. Not you. Bitch, you didn't you taking Joe Netta out of hey, business. I see y'all in competition like the two niggas y'all is. You already know who it is. If not, stick around, you find out. And today, I got a treat for you. I'm about to cook again. And what I'm cooking, hmm. Let's just say it's gonna be another Big back snack for you. These right here, I'm gonna, we're gonna call them- At the result. Cheeseburger <laughs> poppers, or- Y'all so stupid. Or whatever you wanna call So them. Charles is in the Either kitchen. Way, be cooking. Rolandis, anyway, exactly. I bet you follow me. Okay to me. Ch cluck and chicken. Nigga, you all off beat. How the fuck you put cluck and chicken in the meat? Cluck and chicken ain't number sea salt and four, five different versions of sugar, nigga. Not a meat sweet and shit like that. You supposed to be putting the beef season in it. How you put cluck and chicken in the meat? That's how we know you slow, nigga. Bad, false advertisement. Niggas don't want they meat sweet and shit like that like you with your big worm ass. Lord have mercy. Why is he putting that shit on there and it look like lemon pepper? I love lemon pepper season, but y'all know that shit plastic. I done did a whole experiment. The a ghost bus. They motherfucking have it this season right here. Child, onion soup mix. How you want me to buy your seasoning and you using onion soup mix and everything else on your seasoning? Your season supposed to be all purpose, ain't it? You ain't supposed to use nothing but some fresh vegetables and some fresh herbs in conjunction with your season. Now you telling me I need some onion soup mix? Nah, fuck, nigga. We gonna stick with the laurels. We gonna stick with the onion powders, lemon pepper, and everything else besides this fuck shit that you out here serving up. Lipton onion soup. Is you gonna put some Lipton iced tea in that bitch too just like Joe Netta to get that sugar child? Oh, no. Nah, I fucks with fresh garlic. I ain't gonna lie to you. But this concoction. Mm, not child know how to cook better than Jonetta, though. Let's be clear about that. He ain't wash his hands either, digging in his oh, booty. Yes. Now that we got the meat season, now it's time to get the butter melting for our crescent rolls. Hmm. 
<laughs> now, for the real fun. Hey, listen, I don't know about y'all, even though I feel like he don't know how to cook. I'd rather watch him cook than Joe Netta. Put a one in the chat if you agree. Put a two in the chat if you would rather Joe Netta cook. No, we just want Joe Netta. We want them to switch roles right now since they in a in a relationship and Joe Netta the one throwing the dick at Charles. We want you in the kitchen doing all the women's shit. We want to see you shaking your titties and everything. No homo. The only person that wants you beyond the scope of Joe Netta is Larry Reed. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we want to see him cook. And look at how the eye is. The meat burning. The meat is raw but burning. Y'all don't see the burn spots right there where the meat stood there for two seconds? Boy, turn that motherfucking eye down. Bad influence, Joe Netta. Man, you can smell the season out this time. This guy smells so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, uh, uh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. Cut to perfection. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. If only you can smell it through the phone. All right, y'all. We already done cooking the meat so far. Now it's for my favorite part. Open up the crescent rolls so I can go ahead and load this up. Instead, I'm throw them in the oven. All right, people. Got a little pockets laid up. Now, my, this is not going to be a big dinner. Or, like I said, it's going to be a snack. So, this is what you expect. But a snack? Okay. Right, everything laid up. Here's where I'm first. first oh, okay. Meat. Not you trying to you make some like meat pies. Got to let go of the butter. Got to be like a pink, 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 Listen, I'm going to be real. I'm half Jamaican. Ain't nothing on no Jamaican beef patty. So now you know the Jamaican people looking at him making this a meat pie and comparing it to our version of meat pie, which is the Jamaican patty. Absolutely not, motherfucker. We don't put no lip to nice tea and see weeks and all Jamaican patty. Francesca? Are you going to eat this uh, Jamaican patty, Francesca? I think it's supposed to be called bacon cheeseburger boners. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -mm. Did I speed this shit up? No, I didn't. Okay. That's fine. Update the quality. Lord, he looked like a bitch. Charles, Charles gonna be Charles will do right if he go to prison, be somebody bitch. Y'all seen him on the same line as Zell, the nigga that was blowing Sausage Santana back out. Charles looked just like Sausage Santana without the makeup and the theatrics, don't he? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I forgot to add the bacon. Where my man? So Zell and Charles, Zell and Larry Reed want you Charles. Have you gotta, have, you gotta add the bacon there. You know what I'm saying I forgot to add it right now. So I understand the reason why they call garlic bacon cheeseburger pockets. Let's see. Yeah, I got, I got to on there. He's throwing this down. I need to hear what he's saying. Okay, so he making some meat pies out of the crescent rolls. And no cap, I would listen if I obviously it would have to be the last bit of food on earth. But if him and Joe, if you compare and contrast his cooking to Joe Netta, I hate to say this because I'm finna vomit when I say it, but I would eat his cooking before I eat Joe Netta's. Put a one in the chat if you agree. Uh uh, -uh not my bad. That nigga look like he been digging and fanging in his asshole and ain't watched them bitches. Gotta hold it in now. See that up. <laughs> Go right up right there. See that up. 
And there we go. Oh hell no. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. Just make sure you give it like a little fold roll well. Sir, you so lazy. You that's a crescent bro. You supposed to scratch and roll up the dough to where it's enough to cover the shit. Or since you got crescent rolls, why don't you use one to put the meat in, put it down there, and then take half of one and, and use it as a top. Okay? You don't know how to cook. <laughs> Look at this shit. This. Just messy. And you know he called everything a big yeah. back, big brack. Bitch, you cook everything like it's a seafood, boy. Just throw everything in there so as long as you got the right seasoning and whatever, and it's chunky and it's mukbang. Bitch, you need to sit down and do mukbang with your big ass. Like, 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 Stop like, the like, asshole ass like, nigga. Sure All right, people. That's it. <laughs> That's the result. <laughs> This shit look like some my little yeah, brother that went in the kitchen room. and cooked, knowing damn well ain't nobody finna eat the shit but him. Nah. Child, please. Now nah, he done shook his titty and told Netta to come hit that. You already know your man, y'all. And as you can see, I just got through cooking my big back snack. Not much, but it's enough. Yep. And guess what? We better um, see if it's good or not. Let's see. I ain't gonna do shit when my shoulder hurt. Hold on, let, let, let's do it, bitch. Your shoulder hurt. We gonna do it for you. Y'all, please hit the likes. Please hit the likes. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get these niggas right. Sean! Yes. Miss Nana. Your lunch is ready. Who big dog of okay. this bitch? Nigga, fuck you. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Let me pull this shit out. Yeah. yeah. Your snack is ready. Okay. Why it sound like Joe Netta was scared? He said, okay. Like he was scared to go taste it and try it. Bitch, I would eat out for Charles before I eat out for you. Not clean. Okay. Oh, not Joe Netta up here looking like Hanson Squidward. Like he didn't had a blue LED light on his motherfucking face. Look at him. Not him, bitch. You look faker than fake, bitch. I, whatever you done did to your skin, Joe Netta, you want to show it off. And that's why you said Charles need to cook. Bitch, you need to have Charles cook forever and ever. Because whatever you're doing in your skin and your face going to be reversed when you get up underneath that stove and cook with all that high-ass grease. Okay. Child. What we got here? Mm -mm. Joe Netta is shining bright like a diamond. Look at his face with them three Lil Wayne dreads, the pookie shells in it. Child. <laughs> Favorite little big back snack, cause man, I already done smelt it, man. When I say it's so good, good lord, you you probably gonna deep throw. Yeah, it looks it look like your face is from some some wrong. Joe Netta did something to his face, bitch, and you look full of from high. Let's be clear about that with them 1993 nails on. Anyways, what? Anyways, <laughs> this is right. <laughs> this is called. Thank you, Miss Duval. Bacon cheeseburger. Pocket. Okay. Well, garlic, bacon, cheeseburger. Pocket. Okay. All right, then. So I got the ketchup in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. The roll is fine. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm going to taste it without the, without the ketchup first. Yeah. Let me see. You might not even need it. Trust me. Let me see. Hmm. I know. He always act like, he always act like Charles' food is nasty because he want to be able to cook and he want the audience to believe that he can cook better than Charles. But like I said, I'd rather eat off of Charles than him. And bitch, I would die three times before I eat anything y'all cook. What you know? I know it's good. Yeah, take nobody. Mm -hmm. Joe Bleachy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Bleachy. 
Oh yeah, you know you know you want to. Mm-hmm. I suppose I can take another bite. Mm-hmm. But it's um it's giving like baked cheeseburger for real. Mm-hmm. Has the mayonnaise in it, it'll be mm-hmm. I mean it's the bomb dot com like this, but I have the mayonnaise to dip it in with some ketchup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, what's you don't need none of that. Mm. Cheese melted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's hot. Yeah. Mm. And he know for a fucking fact that if he sit up, if Charles is eating the food and he criticize, if Charles criticize his food that way, he gonna get mad and go to throwing shit and be upset. So why is you playing with Charles? So egg laying. Well. Well, I must say, um, the meat flavor, but you use my season. Pretty much. Oh, okay. Finna say. Finna say. No, he used onion lip, then he lose a little bit of the seasoning. And the crumbs and the shit crust, the dingleberries and everything that you tasted came from your season. But the meat is flavorful too. And that's used with Miss Netta. Which seasoning did you use? You should know. Why you up here selling seasoning and you can't even taste your own seasoning in the product? You supposed to tell us, ain't you the entrepreneur? You ain't start using that seasoning too. It was time to sell some shit and that shit <laughs> like cat litter mixed with fish food and shit like that. Get your ass up out of here with your grifter. Okay. Just give a little more flavor, but it's good. I'm eating the bottom part, the meat. The meat, you got it seasoned real good. Mm, I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> real good. Huh? Mm-hmm. Don't nobody put no Lipton iced tea and Lipton soup mix in their food but y'all, bitch. That's your taste buds looking like, <laughs> bitch, we getting tired of your motherfucking ass. Don't he look just like Jagged Tea? <laughs> Please hit the like. I'm sick and tired of Joe Netta, bitch. Good night, Lady K. Now the adventures never end. Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales. It's almost time for Dragon Tales. This Come nigga right here. Take my hand. Let's all go to Dragon Land. Send up here, thank you for the play with somebody and tell. I'll drop a bomb on your goddamn man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, tell me. What you give that? Hot and hot and she up. Look at you. One more second. Yes. This is the 10 out of 10. I don't know. Child, <laughs> um, yeah. Don't he look like handsome squid? But like he be, he Joe Netta been doing something with that face. He said he ain't going to announce it until the process is complete. Because you know when he went to California... And came back talking about his face was so tight and once the peel off was going to happen, it, it ain't nobody going to be able to say nothing. Now you think we ain't going to be able to say nothing. Nigga, if your face ain't so ugly, we just ain't going to watch you. We going to move on. Your, you, you trying to be beautiful is best with your money. Bitch, I know it got to be sucked to be you to know that you the LOL cow. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. And that's what? The bomb. Dot com. Shout out by nigga bitch. We don't give a fuck about you.